can't tell you how many times I've been sitting in a theater watching an independent production and usually it's one of those 48 hour film festivals where everybody has their heart and soul in it and you're sitting there watching it and the audio isn't great. It means the audio is not matching, the volumes are different. And you know, in a professional production, somebody gets paid a lot of money to treat every single one of those files. Well, a lot of times we don't have the time or the effort or the expertise to understand how to match that volume. And that's what this demo is about. I use Adobe Audition CS 5.5 to match the volume between five different audio files. But you could use this to do it 500 audio files if you want and it'll all process in the background. So let's go have a look. Here's my audio file, and if we play this... Oh yeah, this Friday on How to Create a Fake Audio Track Theater, join Colin Smith as he... It's uh, very loud, very crisp, and I need to attenuate this, so I'm going to fix this one file, and then when it's fixed, I'm going to point other files to the fixed file and say, make these other ones exactly like this fixed file. So. With this particular file open in the effects menu, amplitude and compression, I'm gonna use something called speech volume leveler. And if you twirl down this little triangle, you'll see that I have settings for compressor, noise gate, and up to, at the top, the target level and the leveling amount. There's some presets in here for medium, soft. I'm going right to strong, and you can see it's going to uh, use a target level volume of min minus 18 dBs, and it's gonna turn the compressor on quite a bit and the noise gate. I'm gonna turn the effect on and off by clicking this button here while I play it back. I want you to hear the difference. Oh yeah, this Friday on how to create a fake audio track off. theater. Join Colin Smith as he rambles aimlessly for 10 seconds to create the perfect test audio track. So I'm trying to keep that uh, from clipping. I don't want it anywhere near zero dB, so that's why I'm using the strong setting. When I click apply, you'll physically see that change. I mean, that's a big change with that particular file. So now let's listen to oh, it. Oh yeah, this Friday on how to create a fake audio track theater. Join Colin Smith. So we still have an aggressive sound, but it's leveled. It's not going to clip. So that was number 12 that we have right there. And what I'm going to do is uh, take these files and put them into our match volume panel. So in the window menu, choose match volume drag my files inside there, and um, you notice that I can choose marker12.wave. This is the file that I already uh, did before. Obviously, I won't have it in the batch. I'm matching the volume from a fixed file to these four other files. Now, here are your choices inside here. This is how you match two, and there are some differences inside here. So we're using Total RMS, it matches an overall loudness that you specify, so you tell it what the loudness is. If you use a file, um, Total RMS, then you're picking that specific file. And that's what we're doing here. If we choose something like, oops, if we go choose loudness, then loudness just matches an average loudness that you specify, again, right here with that setting. If we choose perceived loudness, it matches the perceived loudness level accounting for middle frequencies that the ear is most sensitive to. This option works well uh, unless the frequency emphasis is varied too much. So if it's about the same, it's not too loud in one section and too quiet, this is a really good setting uh, to use. And if we check peak volume, uh, this one, it matches the maximum amplitude you specify, and it really is normalizing these files. Uh, this option retains the dynamic range, so it's a really good choice if you plan to uh, process files further uh, for highly dynamic audio like classical music. So I'm gonna go right to file, because remember we worked on number 12 here, and that's the one that we're going to use. Also, I'm going to turn on use limiting, which will make sure that we don't have any overly loud or clipped files. It's going to limit them. Um, the look ahead time and release time, you can think of this as kind of like a noise gate, so how far it's looking ahead before it starts to attenuate these. Now, two buttons down here at the bottom. Match volume will just do that. It will match the volume and process these files. But if I want to batch, then I can actually output all these files at the same time. So here's the files, fix them, and output them at the same time. I'm just going to use match volume at this time. 
click on it and you can see again it's really really fast uh, here because we're on our wonderful HP Z800 again and you can see it gives us some diagnostics of what it did so it's not just um, doing every file the same it's actually listening to the audio in the file and it's changing them accordingly so it's telling me what the loudness in dbs perceived total rms and peak um, and how much it's changed each one so this one is actually plus 1.12 dbs and the rest of them it's actually lowered those files right there okay so now let's open this file up and listen to this each one. This Friday on how to create a fake audio track theater. So each one. This Friday on how to create a fake audio track. This Friday on how to create a. So each one of those files has now been leveled. They're ready to uh, put in a multi-track file or I can take these out to Premiere Pro or After Effects, any place I want to go. It's just a very easy way to match all those volumes up. Um, at this point, you could run any of the effects inside here, but this was just a really quick, simple look at how to level a whole bunch of files, and they don't have to just be speech files. This could be background audio, this could be uh, anything that you want to match multiple files with. Use that uh, match volume and automate it, and you're ready to go.